Welcome back to Tahoe Today. In the studio, Holly from Carson Avenue Creations, or is it just Carson Creations? Carson Avenue Creations. Okay, I had it right. So uh, you're doing a big push here, sort of like a, uh, for people to relate, sort of a shop local campaign, but for artists here in the Tahoe Basin. Talk about it and give us the details. Yeah, so if you'll see the shirts we're both wearing and the hat and all the little gear here, you need stickers, buttons, mugs, you know. Uh, I created some art. I did a watercolor original painting and uh, put it on a bunch of stuff. I, I also did some other design on shirts, but this one was for our community specifically to uh, get people to think about all the artists living in this community day in and day out and to really encourage people to, to work with and to shop local when it comes to buying your art here in, in Tahoe. So did you when, you, when creating this logo here, did you pick out colors for the certain cities? Is there a reason Incline is black? <laughs> Those aren't cities. No? Okay, I was <laughs> just wondering. <laughs> it's supposed to be a paint palette, but you know, I don't know, is Incline a dark place? Well, they are, I would say they're in the black because they got lots of money up there. True. Maybe, yeah. maybe we should all be there. Yeah, in South Lake Tahoe, <laughs> we should be red. Yeah, in the red. The in red terms zone. Of money. Yeah. yeah, that's so, for sure. <laughs> um, talk about how, how you see this sort of, uh, you know, pushing through the years and, and what it will create in the long run, you know, rather than just, you know, saying, okay, we're going to do this. And what, what's it going to be in the long run? Well, I would hope, you know, one thing we don't really have here in South Lake is a really, um, prominent and big local artist co-op. And I think that's something we do need here, something beyond the scope of the Art League that can take more artists on of, of all kinds of different mediums, because the, the Art League is very specific mm -hmm. as far as what they show. So, you know... So it, you're, you're saying in terms of like a studio that sort of collaborates or just a an organization or a, a group? An organization okay. where maybe we can have booths where people are able to sell and, and mm -hmm. have a, a location or a platform to, to sell their artwork and show it mm -hmm. yeah. more often and yeah. more easily. Yeah, Kevin back from LA, our director back here, he's saying sort of like Venice Beach, how they've sort of taken on all of that culture through art. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a really neat one in Truckee that came together after years of artists working together and and what's that one? I, I don't know the name of that one, okay. but it's, you know, it's right before downtown Truckee. Okay, yeah. And uh, it's really neat. And the artists there, they have really collaborated to get together and to push and support each other. Because we do need to support each other more. Um, what kind of art do you do at Carson Avenue Creations? You do the restoration, right? Yeah. So what, what would you call it as your... You know, obviously the artist, you got a specific name for it, not just restoration. <laughs> yeah, so with the furniture I do, um, I do a lot of, I guess, maybe upcycling. Mm -hmm. or upcycling, yeah. Or painted yeah. art furniture, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I know you came by uh, my yard sale over Memorial Day. Have you, have you turned around that dresser yet? I did, yeah. yeah? Did somebody buy it yet? Not yet. Uh, what if I just came back and I bought it, then I'd... And that, that's upcycling right there. It's basically paying you yeah. to, to restore my dresser. Absolutely, and I'll charge you like $100 more for it. <laughs> All right, well, that's not bad. <laughs> I mean, but it looks great. It's, and yeah. it's, you know, some of the thrift stores here have more So we've got some stuff. pictures queued up. What do we, what do we have? I, have? I haven't seen these yet. Um, so how about we, we pull them up, Kevin? Uh, so is this inside your shop studio space? Yeah, this okay. is inside my shop. This is my T-shirt wall with all the original art and the T-shirts that we put them on. Uh-huh, okay. Um, Very cool. I love, I'm loving the colors there. Yeah. Uh, this is some of your own art not directed towards uh, by Tahoe art, or is it? Right, no, there, what you see on the table is all the buttons and kind of the swag, but behind that is a mural, which is something I also do. You know, you have to diversify if you're gonna sell art in this town. You can't just do one thing. Yeah, and then there's the front of the store. You're located yeah. right next to the 7-Eleven. Uh, they're on, well, I guess it's... Uh, and Sierra Track. Sierra Track, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, great little store there. I've been in, and it's, it's so quaint, and, but yet, it's filled in there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's always a process. It's growing. We won the Best of Tahoe Award this year. Really? Yeah. For, for what award? Uh, best Home Interior Design. Wow. So that was exciting. Impressive. You know, it's it's always a work in progress. And congratulations. Um, thank Anything you. else you want to share with the viewers out there before we cut away? Nothing. Just just get out and, and look into our local artists and our local art community, and there's a lot to see out there. Thank and you. And just 
by Tahoe Art. Yeah, as by you can Tahoe see. Art. Yeah, so head on in there. <laughs> Holly is a ball of fun in there at Carson Avenue Creations. Thanks for making this push Thanks, on the Mike. art scene. You're watching Tahoe today. Now let's check in with Dave Hamilton and his latest movie review.